Very grateful that you're taking the time is to come out and see it firsthand, talk uh, not only to our people, but also to these families. So thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. First Lady Melania Trump spent the day in Arizona, her first stop right here in Tucson. Mrs. Trump met with multiple leaders from federal agencies in southern Arizona and toured an intake facility before heading to Phoenix for the afternoon. Nine on your side's Max Darrow has details on her Tucson visit. Wheels down. First Lady Melania Trump arriving at Davis Monthan Air Force Base today for a quick visit to Arizona. At the U.S. Customs and Border Protection facility in Tucson, the First Lady participated in a roundtable discussion surrounding immigration issues and children. Multiple agencies there, including CBP, Border Patrol, U.S. Marshals, and a local rancher. They told her about what they've encountered and experienced living and working on the U.S.-Mexico border. I'm here to support you and uh, give my help whatever I can for behalf of children and the families. The First Lady then visited with children who are currently held at the intake facility on site, not the Southwest Key Shelter in town. A group of protesters there all morning. I want her to know that her husband is taking our country down a slippery slope. Trump also spent a few hours in Phoenix for another roundtable discussion, this one taking place at the Southwest Key Campbell facility. This is a shelter where migrant children go after they are separated from their families while their parents are processed. The First Lady visited with children there, but cameras were not allowed in. And tonight, the First Lady is headed back to Washington. When asked if she would continue this discussion about immigration on Capitol Hill, her spokesperson, Stephanie Grisham, said this here was an educational visit for the First Lady. She continued to say the First Lady does not want to see children separated from their parents, but at the same time, she has strong beliefs in border law. Pat, Stella. All right, Max, thank you. Protesters were eager to show the First Lady how they opposed the president's immigration policies. But they never had the chance, as Nine Your Side's Craig Smith reports. She did not visit a local children's immigration shelter after all. Protesters gathered in front of a former motel converted to house the immigrant children. A federal contractor called Southwest Key has run the facility for about four years since the Obama administration used this place and others like it to house a surge of unaccompanied immigrant children in 2014. Now it's part of the story of children separated from their parents as they enter the U.S. illegally. Sure. Jane Brinkerhoff lives in a tall building nearby that gives her a view into the complex. And I've been watching the children for two years now, but in the last 12, 20 days, there have been little bitty children out there, like under five, maybe even four. And they uh, try to keep them entertained you know, to keep it cool, but you can tell they're very unhappy. They look like inmates, you know, walking down with their heads down, all depressed. Southwest Key says very little about the shelter. We found City of Tucson records that show it is licensed to house about 325 people. As Southwest Key recruits workers, job descriptions show it has education programs, takes the children to movies, parks, and museums, and expects workers to control unruly children. Anita Clark also lives near the shelter. She thinks splitting children from parents and holding them in a shelter teaches young minds the wrong lessons. You get hatred. They, they're going to hate, and that's wrong. We need to take the hatred out of this country because that's what's building up so badly here. Protesters hoped to send a message to the First Lady but did not get a chance. She limited her Tucson visit to the Border Patrol station at Davis-Monton. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.